swear I married a woman. Jared! Ow, no! Yes, I have a problem. I get it, y'all. I get it. Yeah, I have a women's problem, I reckon, you know? But boots for men can be used in so many different situations, and over the years I've collected so many, and this isn't even all of them, man. All right? I should have yelled back at my wife and told her, this not all of them! Gotcha! You know? But this isn't even all of them, man. This is kind of just like my working, everyday, daily drivers. Speaking of daily drivers, let's start with that. We're rocking the old yellers today. I went a little East Loss on y'all. A little Compton, okay? So these are my daily drivers right now. These are the Outlaw Yellows. Say keep it freaking hillbilly on the back. These are the ones I've been rocking lately. I usually rock these or the black backwards badass ones. So. Same exact style boot, but instead we got the black leather and the backwoods badass on the back. These are my daily drivers that I wear every single day. Usually you're rocking like Wranglers or something like that. Oh yeah, we got the freaking Outlaw boot socks on, man. Can you see the Outlaw on there? Can you see? Sorry, man, dog hair, apologize. We rock those over on the website as well, outlawmerch.com. These are my boots, if you guys didn't know. And you guys have been wanting this video forever, man. So I figured I'd, I'd do it for you, finally. I've got so many though, so I kind of just picked out a few <laughs> just a few we got the old wife filming for me today yeah let's just let's start with these i wear a nine for anybody that doesn't know okay i'm gonna model some of these whenever i'm talking uh about them start with these these are the keep it freaking hillbilly boots okay i love these boots there's a nice little pair for you right there okay and they've been worn in all right i don't polish these up you know i'm not really a dress boot guy anyways like if we go out anywhere nice i'm still usually rocking these Usually I just won't shotgun them because I like to shotgun my boots. You know, when you're wearing outlaw boots, it's fun to shotgun them because, you know, and people love them. They always ask. Like, when you wear these boots, everybody's always like, where'd you get these, man? So these back was badass. So those are my daily drivers. I guess we can just start from where we're at. Mud jug of the day. I already got a dip in. Keep it fucking American mud jug. And then check this out. Wait for it. Wait for it. There you go, bod. Yeah, mojug.com. If you guys want a spittoon that don't freaking spill, get you one, son. They're doing a whole bunch of deals over there at mojug.com right now. All right, let's just start with right here. These are my Sorrells. As you guys know, I live in Colorado, so we get a lot of snow here. Probably six months out of the year, it's snowing. Actually more, probably eight months out of the year, it's snowing. So these are my Sorrell boots. These are, in my opinion, the best. Uh, it's like I clean these boots. They're all nice. Usually when you wear them in the snow, they kind of clean themselves after they dry off. But these are, I used to have an older pair of these, and they were a lot different than they are now like a little bit bigger uh, wool up here on top but these are my snow boots that I rock every year love them they're super easy to slip on as well sometimes I don't even tie them up I just slip them on I'm able to do them Sorrells are probably uh, they're my favorite snow boots out there they're insulated they're super warm and they've got a lot of traction they got this nipple technology on the bottom you know what i'm saying everybody's gotta love that nipple technology we might use that with the outlaw boots i don't know man so sorrells that's what i rock for the winter time in the snow i actually will hunt in these boots if it's deep snow like late cow elk season or something like that i am usually hunting in these sorrells okay speaking of hunting i'll rock over here to my lacrosses these are the Sitka pattern, the Optifade. And these right here, you can tell there's a little blood on there. Uh, apologize, okay? Apologize, Susan. Oh yeah, should have cleaned these before I put them on a table. Yeah. Apologize. These are insulated as well. So these are what I usually rock during whitetail season later in the year after November when it starts to get a little bit colder. When I'm walking through water to tree stands, you know, all that kind of stuff. They're waterproof completely. They go super high up. Good traction. And they're insulated. So you can be fine walking to your stand wherever you're at. And then whenever you get to your stand, you'll stay warm. Unlike something like these, which we'll go over in a second. These are insulated, so they're going to keep your feet warm. Rock these with a pair of wool socks. They're great. I love them. These are the lacrosse. I don't remember what these things are called, but if you go on their site, I mean, I don't obtain all this information and remember it forever. But yeah, these are like my favorite whitetail hunting boots right here, which the reason I have it in this Sitka is because the rest of my outfit is basically this Sitka right here. Then like I was talking about here, these are my extra toughs. So it's a lot of you guys know, I used to work up in Alaska for a couple years. These are our go-to boots when we were on the boat. These have been used quite a bit. I've had these for quite a while. I have like four or five different pairs of these but I love these boots as far as working on um, the deck of a boat. Super awesome rubber, complete rubber boot, neoprene. It's just great boat boot right here. 
when you're working. You know what I'm saying? They're high, easy to slip on. And I also rock them bow fishing. I, I will rock these in the early like bow season for hunting. I'll rock these because they're not insulated. They do make insulated versions. I've always been rocking with extra toughs. Got some other extra toughs on the table that we'll go over in a second. These are probably when you're working on a boat. Um, Great for bow fishing. Like I said, these extra toughs, it don't get any better than that, baby. I love them and I've had these for four or five years. A pair of boots like this, they have hip boots too. I mean, they, they've got it all. So those are my favorite as far as working on a boat. Moving over here, we got some more outlaw boots. We actually have quite a line of boots. If you guys wanna check them out, go to outlawmerch.com, head on over to the boot section. We've got a bunch of apparel and stuff over there like I'm rocking today. Obviously this shirt comes with sleeves. This is the Outlaw Tobacco Co. T-shirt. Get up in there, Miss Alec. Come on, show them off, dude. Yeah, baby. So we got a lot of cool designs over there as well as, let me drop this really quick, man. I told you guys about keychains a couple weeks ago and we just released our final freaking keychains right here and when i'm talking keychains these are the most high quality leather keychains you can get man bull shoulder bull shoulder black bull shoulder on these these are the backwoods badass and then we've got the outlaw conch which is on just our regular yellow there and my phone's ringing i don't know don't know that phone number leave me alone i'm filming leave me alone so these keychains just dropped over on outlawmerch.com so when you're over there checking out the boots check out some keychains for you man and Oh my gosh, it smells gosh dang good, man. It's like smelling a freaking boot. Woo! Okay, that smells like cow dude. So those just drop. Just want to let you guys know. You know, everybody knows Outlaw Merch does it best, man. We do high quality shit, all right? High quality, okay? So these are up now. Go get yourself, son. All these other people, dude, they're getting their freaking keychains made in gosh dang China for 14 cents and selling it to you, and it's get, the, the paint's gonna rub off, you know? Ridiculous, dude. Anyways, going over to Steel Toes now. We've got two different Steel Toe options for you. I rock these forever. I love them. For some reason, this leather, it's a little dirty here. I didn't clean these up, man. I mean, you guys know. Dude, look at this. Stiff. Steel toe. These are the Outlaw Keep It Hillbilly yellow ones, okay? Awesome bottoms, but these are like so comfortable. These are like the most comfortable steel toe boots I own right here. These and these. These are our brand new ones. But these got the holes in them, just like our other version of the boots, which I like. Yeah, I love them, man. Got the brown, very good looking boot. And for anybody that's out there, if I need steel toe boots when I'm working around trucks or something like that, um, or, or heavy equipment or you're welding or whatever you're doing, these are great. They're easy, slip-ons, shotgun them over your dickies, over your Wranglers, whatever the tits you're wearing. People are gonna ask about them. They love it. Fashionable, you know what I'm saying? I'm all about fashion. We're all about fashion at Outlaw Boots, you know? Speaking of fashion, we're gonna go even more fashionable here to our newest steel toe, which I haven't even rocked these that much yet. These are our Dukes of Hazard boot, okay? So we got the O1 on the back, spelling out the Outlaw on the back for all our Outlaws out there. These are just uh, without the holes, just got our leather sleeves, and then the freaking bottoms match the boot, which are awesome. These are steel toe as well. And these go up just a little bit higher than these boots for the people that need just a little bit extra room. But when you put either of these boots on, I mean, they're insanely comfortable. And then the last work boot we got are our non steel toe version for the people that don't need our steel toe version. These are just our with the Outlaw logo on the front. And then we got the Outlaw on the uh, side there. I love this distressed look we have. And then, you know, you got your grippy bottoms and these are very comfortable as well. And let's see, these go, yeah, these go up just about just a little bit in between these two guys here so those are all our work boots that we carry i rock them all the time they're super i like having work boots that you can just slip on really quick and you're able to go do something you got your traction and they're comfortable that's the most important thing for when you're on the dirt when you're on concrete at least you're still comfortable and you got that support okay now we're talking about extra tufts over here if you look right here i've got three pairs of extra tufts I think my wife bought me every single pair except maybe that blue. Did you buy me those blue too? No, I'm pretty sure I got you all of them. Yeah. All you had was those ones when you yeah. were dealing. And I've had even more pairs than this. These are the ankle deck boot from Extra Tufts, which, oh my gosh, there's blood all over that. <laughs> These are like my go-to bow fishing boot, go-to fishing boot, everything like that. They're just a straight neoprene boot, great for boats, great for when you're fishing. You're great not gonna- for traveling great for traveling. I wear these honestly all the time. It doesn't matter. There's a bunch of different colors and stuff like that. So these are my extra tufts. These are my favorite ones. Miss Outlaw got me last year or two years ago. These are the leather deck boot right here. Super comfy. And the brown, the good extra tough brown. And then I've got some blue ones here that I've had for a long time. A little America for you, you know? Who doesn't love our country? If you don't, why the tits are you watching this video, man? Ugh. 
I don't know what this was, but I feel like Superman right now. Okay, man, we got so many gosh dang boots, man, and this isn't even all of them. Like I said, let's go ahead and get into hunting boots. When I'm talking bow hunting uh, for elk, for antelope, for mule deer, um, early season, even late season, but mostly early season mid, these are my like ultimate hunting boots right here. These are crispies. So these are made in Italy. These are like top of the line hunting boots, which I absolutely love. And uh, the guys at Hushin actually turned me on to these boots. So these are the Thor GTX's crispy bottoms right there. A lot of these run with Virum soles, just an amazing boot crazy support this is a thinner profile with a super stiff sole i mean i can barely move that which is great for really steep stuff which we live in colorado there's a lot of steep stuff here and these do very very well when you're trying to just kind of dig your toes in and get up the mountain it's great on rockier terrain because they're so skinny skinnier profile they're not the greatest they have a lot of different other options that are a little bit wider that help you but as far as just trekking up a mountain super quick and getting up there and it's super light i don't know how much these weigh but like less than a pound so these are crispies like i said these are the thor gtx's i think these are the twos i love these boots these are my go-to hunting boots when it comes to early season and stuff if there's no snow on the ground i'm usually rocking these guys i'll rock them in the tree stand and stuff too i think it's just got like insulate so it's got like a thin layer of insulation anyways and then let's just go over here to my other hunting boot that i rock every once in a while i think miss outlaw got me these too yeah i did look at these tire bottoms dude michelin man on the bottom dude these guys are under armor what are these called the fat tires or under armor i can't remember what these are called i don't remember honestly mullet man wild turned grouper. me on to those yeah what mullet man is the one who uh got miss outlaw to get me a pair of these this is super comfortable not a lot you know it's got the boa system not a lot of ankle support so when you're trekking up super high stuff you know it's it's a little stiff but it's not great but as far as just running around like pronghorn hunting or something like that these are legit man and they are so comfortable. You've got over an inch of tire under you right there. These boots have been through it all. I brought these to Africa with me. I hunted all throughout Africa with these. I think there's a little bit of insulation in there too. Yeah, it's insulate. So 200 grams of insulation. Super comfortable, great hunting boot. And they're good like trail running boots and stuff like that too. I see a lot of people rocking these as well. Okay, and then last but not least on the table here, the, a lot of people, I've posted a couple pictures of these, of me wearing these, rocking them on my Instagram. Hit me up on Instagram at Jared Outlaw. I'll put the link in the description box below. But these are my work boots, tie up work boots, utility boots for when I'm going all day on, you know, working on trucks or something like that. Now, when you there's a lot of different companies out there. These are Keens, okay? These are the Keens Cincinnati's, I think they're called. There's a lot of different companies out there. Okay, you got Red Wing, you got Thorough Goods. These are like a mock toe boot is what they call these. And there's so many different companies out there that, 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 uh, that sell them. As far as style goes, and I tried a lot of them on, and the ones I like the best are these new Keens. They don't, I like the rounded toe here. It has a rounded toe and it looks so much better than a lot of them that kind of come to a point. And these kind of, I don't know, man, these Keen Utility soles, which I'll take them out here. They're really comfortable. They didn't take that long to break in. I mean, I probably put a couple miles on them. I don't know what the, but these, these soles here, super comfortable. Or not soles. What are these things called? Uh, are they soles? Inserts. Inserts, insoles, um, whatever the hell they're insoles, called. Insoles. Yeah. Insoles, yeah. They're really comfortable and they really didn't take that long to break in. In. So I've had these for a few months now. I'm really digging them. As far as style goes, I really do like these Keens more than all the other brands. You know, these oh. are, I don't remember exactly how much these were. What were they, like 170? Yeah. 160, something like that. Mm -hmm. So they run in the same price range of a lot of them, but I don't know how much longer these are going to last, you know, compared to some of the bigger brands out there. They got a little yellow on them, so I had to freaking rock them. Huh? So there is a good majority of all of my boots right there. Now, I I have quite a bit more boots than just this, especially like dress boots and stuff like that. But as far as just work boots, uh, everyday boots, stuff like that, I don't know why you guys wanted to see this video so bad. There's one kid in particular that comments this on like every video I do. So there you go, buddy. It's It's been for you. All your comments the past year have paid off. There's your boot video, finally. I got a collection for a whole different array of things from hunting to fishing to everyday to working. You know, I highly recommend any of these boots like i said but most importantly i recommend outlaw boots check about outlawmerch.com and don't forget man new kosh dang keychains let me grab one of them dude i just want to smell it 
Oh yeah, baby. Brand new keychains are up as well. They match our freaking wallets, which are up as well. Dude, we got so much stuff over there. Oh, we got Miss Outlaw on the I back. Just held Dude, the back. What do you have on your freaking chest, man? I'm got baking. A excited? I'm baking. She's baking a little bit. Okay, well, that's it for the boot video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you liked my modeling. And thanks to Miss Outlaw for helping me film. Oh, and thank you guys so much for all the birthday wishes as well. Yes, I turned 30. I reckon it's time for me to start acting like an adult, right? Nah, that's boring. <laughs> so anyways, thank you guys so much for all the birthday wishes out there. And I reckon I'll see you on the dip side. Holler. <laughs>